hurt anybody. He didn't drag anybody. He didn't condemn anybody. He just said, I cannot wear the rainbow colored shirt. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Ungil Zalalem and thank you for watching this video. So today I want to address something that I just saw on Twitter. It's actually trending. African footballer Idrissa is being targeted online right now as we speak because he refused to wear a shirt with a rainbow color on it. And he said it is because of his religious beliefs. But people wanted him to wear that shirt, whether his religion allows it or not, whether he wants to support that movement or not. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. As long as it is about supporting what we believe in, it doesn't matter what your thoughts, concerns, religious beliefs are. And this is nonsense as far as I'm concerned. We all have rights in this world. If you are allowed to do whatever you want, I am allowed to believe in whatever I want. And religion is protected in most constitutions. You have every right to believe in what you want to believe in as long as it's not hurting anybody else. This man didn't speak up against any group. He didn't. He just said, I can't wear the shirt that you are forcing me to wear because my belief, my religion doesn't allow me to. From his name, I can tell he's a Muslim and I believe he has every right to exercise his religion the same way I would want to exercise my own religion. And I just can't believe that he is being targeted and dragged for what he believed in. He didn't hurt anybody. He didn't drag anybody. He didn't condemn anybody. He just said, I cannot wear the rainbow colored shirt. At least the Senegalese president showed support following the backlash he's received. This is the kind of double standard we need to call out. Speak up against the discrimination this African football player is facing. So I am ready to use my voice. I am ready to speak up and stand next to my brother. Like I get that he's risking his job by standing up, you know, for his faith. But at the same time, even if we feel like we won't contribute, we can still help him out by being a voice, you know? There's power in unity and let's just speak up when we see something that is just downright ridiculous. I stand with Idrissa and I hope that he continues playing for this team because I know that's what's paying him. So with that being said, let me know down below fam what your thoughts are about, you know, this discrimination that he is facing because of his religion. I'm just not happy about it, but you can tell already. Let me know down below and let's have a discussion. Anyways fam, I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.